How's it going today guys? Trucks and Water here and today is Sunday. Um, th uh, Friday and Saturday nothing really much happened went on like filming wise. Um, we have another truck on the channel. Hunter got another project truck. He's selling the Hoopty POS we want to call it because this is a whole lot better truck and you got a freaking awesome deal on it but you again you'll probably see that later on this vlog but right now i'm at pops of course gonna get the truck sprayed off kind of wipe it down get some of the hard areas off of it it's supposed to rain like monday and tuesday and i think maybe wednesday of this week so i don't want to do a full wash but i do want to get some of the grime and grit off of it before i do do a full wash so we'll get right into it so apparently this the my normal car wash um it keeps eating dollar bills and won't give you any change back when you put in the dollar the dollar bill or five dollar bill or whatever exchange for quarters so I'm going to a different one. I got to go in that direction anyway. So I think it's something at Home Depot. So, um, yeah. Tennessee 61 West for nine miles. Thank you, Lola. A lot of you have been DM me asking me about how I like the Boost Auto tow mirrors. I've had these on, put these on right before Daytona. So I drove down to Daytona with them on and I've been driving around, of course, for the past few couple months with them on. I'm gonna give you a quick update on them. I freaking love them. Um, if y'all need tow mirrors for your OBS Chevrolet or any year from OBS and above tow mirrors for your truck please get boosted auto mirrors I freaking love them my setup is I've got amber turn signals and running lights that you know blink the same way as my my front blinkers do color match caps which are done by a buddy of mine link will be down in the description on his Facebook page on his auto body shop I highly recommend me from the Knoxville Tennessee area um the high output reverse lights, which are very stupid bright. It's not a gimmick. These things are insanely bright. Um, of course, the turn signals in the mirror. And there are power adjustable. It's got a power on this truck anyways. Um, it just looks so much better on this truck. I mean, of course, you can yank them out if, you need, if you're going to be towing with them. Mine are kind of stuck because I don't yank them out very often. Um, but yeah, I mean, it just looks so much better they don't yank out as far as my old ones do but that's fine with me because i don't tow with this truck anyways that's what's going on with the tow mirrors I, it just makes the truck look so much more beefier than the stock original mirrors that look like a freaking i'm off of a 90s impala which i'm pretty sure they are off a of 90s impala um so yeah they look freaking great uh update though on my gas cap the company is working right now i'm building the color match product for this truck i'm not going to name it just yet so the gas cap is not back yet but um they are working on the product and it's going to come back very soon so yeah other than that the truck is running fantastic and well i do though unfortunately have to replace <laughs> stupid key i'm gonna have to replace this very soon because um if the if it's very hot out and the truck sits in the out in the sun for long the button does not want to engage the AC compressor, so I'm going to have to buy that part, which is like a $130 part off of Rock Auto for a brand new one to put in the dash. It's not hard to do. I don't want to go to pull apart and get a used one because I'm afraid I'm going to have the same issue as I did before. So I'm just going to go buy a brand new one. But other than that, guys, truck's running fantastic. New engine's running good. So that's kind of just a really quick update on the truck. because we're reveal, unveiling Hunter's new project truck that I hinted on Instagram. Anyways, um, before we get into that, guys, I've been getting a lot of questions still about what products use in the truck for Kempel guys, some of the uh, mods I have on the truck and whatnot. Please go down into my description of this video and click the Amazon link in the bio. It's my new Amazon store that has a lot of products on it for truck care to truck parts to camera equipment. It's got a lot of stuff on there, so please go and check that out. I get commission off every sale, which goes straight into this truck build, going to truck meets, um, the new truck I want to get, you know, stuff like that. It goes into a lot of that stuff, so please, if you 
want chemical guy stuff, the new front end parts, except for the line, you have to go to Linux of your whatever you, wherever you live out to get it sprayed, or anything like that, guys, please go down into the link in the bio. I, it means a lot to me. I've already had people buy stuff, which freaking awesome. You all are the best. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. All right, guys, so right now we're working on the old project truck that he is now currently selling. Um, the new project truck's right behind me, or in front of me, sorry. So we're going to show you all that in a very quick second, but we got to figure out where he put the bolt for something or something or other. I don't know what's going on at the moment. So we'll figure that out and then we'll show you the new truck. And we're going to now introduce you to the new Toyota, so there's a hint, project truck. So in three, two, one. Here it is, guys. It's a 1987 Toyota pickup. Kind of the similar one to the Hoopty POS, whatever you want to call it. But this one is in 20 times better condition. And it's the extra cab model, 5-speed, 22RE, and bucket seats with a center console. And, you know, 5 speeds got a little extra space in the back. Working AC, that's the main thing right there. But we found this at Fox Toyota, so huge shout out to Fox Toyota. They um, We drove it, what was it, Saturday? Yes. Saturday. He liked it, so he bought it. So we're going to, he's selling the hoopty right now. So um, message him. It might be sold already by then. We're not sure yet, but still just message him to see if it's still available if you're interested in this truck. It's a very solid truck. As you can tell from the videos, we did a lot of work to it already with new shock all the way around, new front steering components, new tailgate engine work done to it to make it run butterly smooth five speed that works i mean it's a good all around either first truck or just a beater truck or whatever you want to use it for it's a good all around truck for that so but this is the new project truck so hunter what are the plans for this one well did you tell me about the tires yet i have not we are going to transfer these wheels and tires over to this yes here in a second yep and then, of course, uh, window tent will be coming. It'll eventually get lifted, but for now, keep it stock simple. Um, he will be taking this to Rod Run this year, so you will be see, you will be you can see it at Rod Run this year. So, yes. so that will be good. As you can tell, guys, it runs very smooth. No weird ticks or anything like that. There's a five speed. Okay. All right, so we got this jacked up, so that's good to go. This is jacked up by the Bobcat UTV with the forks on the front looking thing. So take those off, put those on this truck. So we are good to go. Start this process. Kids, don't try this at home. OSHA approved? Hell no. <laughs> oh, should be shitting so. <laughs> I gotta say, kids, don't try this at home. I don't want to hear any comments either. <laughs> yeah, you it wrong. Wrong. You need to have a forty thousand dollar lift. What are we ranting? Yeah, a little bit, I guess you can say. Ow! Yeah. Other news: Look how pretty this is. We could have put these stock wheels on your truck. Six. Yeah, it's six long, six long. No. Um, hey. Yours are a little bit wider. Hey. Yeah. When you lift this, mm -hmm. we need to put one wheel on this to see how it looks with 20 by 12s. Ooh. Yes. Not now because it won't fit at all. No. But I yeah, mean, you can't turn it. No. no. Who, who wants to turn anyway? Yeah, what's rub line? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know guys if you want a good shoulder back stomach and uh, another thing workout do this god bless i don't know how these tire guys do it oh wait they have air tools <coughs> and lifts and lifts and not on gravel she's on stockies god those, those these tires are a lot smaller yeah they are someone's gonna call it you don't have to tighten that tight yeah, I know. Rather be safe than sorry. Exactly. Well, guys, this might be the last stroll in the hoop deer on the farm. 
The other one's got the new tires on it, and let me tell you, it was not fun. Are we making up this hill over here and two wheel drive, you think? I don't know, it's a good question. Oh, she's spinning. Oh, this thing spins so bad on these new wheels. <laughs> it's hilarious. Kids don't try this at home either. Run off on a little kilter. All right. I like a champ. Spin a little bit. <laughs> Nothing too bad. And we got the new wheels and tires on it. Look at that, it looks so much more meatier. Yes, we know. Thing, we are driving it right now on the new wheels and tires. Seems so far pretty daggum good. Mine's locked. Now that I know how to do it. Okay. We're flexing. No, wow. Good flex, okay. Just like that, guys, we are out of here on my way home so I can go relax and get something to eat and all that fun stuff. And Hunter's Park right there. What is he doing? I think he's being a stalker. I think he's totally being a stalker. He's stalking. He's stalking. I see you. I see you right there. I see you. But anyways, so we got the wheels switched over. It looks so much better on that truck, let me tell you. That is a night and day difference on that truck. So yeah. So right now I've got all the um all my wash stuff out, my dual bucket, foam can ready to go with chemical guys, honeydew snow foam in it, my sponge, my pressure washer, excuse me, sorry, I try not to burp. Um today is currently Thursday, it's probably gonna be the last part of this vlog. So right now I'm gonna clean off the truck. get a lot of questions about my front end the grill and bumper are both coated in body line x no it's not cheap it was 250 bucks to get the grill coated and 300 for the bumper but i'm telling you guys it is 125 percent worth it because i've had this on since april of or just before april rod run and it's been to daytona it's been everywhere and it has worked out fantastic i mean I've heard rocks chip off this thing. It's been covered in bug guts. And a whole lot of I haven't found one single knock on truck, one single spot where it's been chipped or damaged or anything. And all you gotta do is clean it. It's like, a, like you saw in the video, is soap it down and just take a sponge like, or a scrub, a very soft bristle, bristle scrub brush. This one's from Walmart for like two bucks. And just brush it down 
and then spray it off with your uh, pressure washer and you're done. I mean, it's that simple to get this stuff clean, but it's just so worth the fact of the money to protect your front. And they can do color. They don't, it's not just black. They can do color. So very, very, very worth it. I highly recommend this stuff. As you can see, the truck is all clean. Looks so much better. So I wanna, I'm going to end the video here. I want to thank you all so much for watching this video. If you like the video, leave a like. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe to the Truck Smarter family. We're constantly growing, changing, trying new and better things. Um, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please comment them down below. I hope you all have a great day. And remember, never give up on your dreams.